Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. I hope you're all doing well and had a fantastic weekend. It was the World Championships this weekend. Well, it's happening right now because I'm recording this Saturday, so... Day two hasn't started where I am right now. I'm super excited though. Got to catch a lot of day one yesterday when I got home from work. And I hope you guys who are watching from home did the same and enjoyed it. And are looking forward to the rest of the event for the rest of the weekend. Obviously it's going to be Monday when this goes up. So we will know our new 2019 world champion. So we'll readdress this when we come back on Wednesday. And we'll have a little mention about that. But all in all I hope you have enjoyed your weekend. If you weren't doing world championship watching then i hope whatever you were up to you had a great weekend anyway it's sad though because it is coming down to the last week of our rod to rank roulette series so this is the final penultimate week of the series until next season because we will be bringing it back i can guarantee you that it's been a lot of fun doing it and uh, thank you so much to each and every one of you every single week nominating these pokemon and making this series possible it's been incredible doing it we had an amazing week last week which i think really capped off the whole the whole series really it was amazing if you didn't catch it or you haven't seen it i'll link a card up here you can go back and check that out before coming into today's episode but without further ado let's spin the wheel for a final time this season i've got a bit of a tier well, it's not gonna be the final time because we're gonna activate those bonus buttons later this week and i guarantee we'll activate all four of them this week so we've got those to look forward to we're not the final spin but to nominate our six pokemon that we're going to be taking on to the ladder to kick us off this week we'll head over to the wheel right now and we'll see what we're going to get picks this week you know what the lanoon jason with your lanoon pick i was a little bit worried when that came out but you know we've got the save line we've got fake out i think to get that working you need fake out so we're quite lucky in that respect we've got the save line and you know the save line it was nominated twice as a normal save line and as a mega so what we're going to do is split it halfway through the week Gonna have normal Sableye to kick us off this week. We'll activate some bonus buttons further down the line and then we'll change it to Mega Sableye when we maybe don't have that Mega Me 2Y because I don't want the conflict there. So just to balance the team early on, give us a good chance. We're gonna go that route first, see how it plays out and then we'll change things up later in the week. So Wednesday is our day when we can activate our buttons. Obviously we've got our randomizer switch up and legend maker and a Patreon button as well. Um, so we will activate those on Wednesday. We'll change up the team and we'll change change up a few of the Pokemon. So just to recap what we've got, we've got Mega Mewtwo Y, we've got Lanoon, got Sableye, got Scarfed Kyogre, which is pretty cool, because we've been caught up by that a few times ourselves on this series, so being able to use it now is amazing. It's great. And Charabug, and you can see all the selections on the team in front of you, the, uh, sorry, the nominations on the screen in front of you now from all of our great, great viewers, including yourself. So, Without further ado, let's have a look at the team. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a raw paste and a poker paste of the team. If you're crazy enough to try it out, do let me know in the comment section down below. But if not, if you just want to peruse and see the details of the teams, it's all there for you to take a look at in your own time. And um, let me know what your thoughts are on the team and the build and everything around it. I'm excited to use the little bus there, Pinko. And uh, I can't remember off the, the life of me. It's been up on the screen now who the other person nominating Charabug was. But uh, it's a Pokemon I've never really used. So I'm quite excited to see it. And its ability battery is obviously really good. Especially when you combine it with Kyogre or Mega Mewtwo Y. Right, friends. It's time. Let's hop onto the ladder. I'm just going to change screen. So we can see our rating. See what we're looking like. 1551. 
that's incredible <laughs> last week was just so good okay um well that's the bar going into this week we've got to try and we've got to try and beat what was it like eight two or nine two i don't know nine two i think was the the record last week so that's the 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 record to beat we need to get up to a good start today obviously no losses would be fantastic but we'll see what happens um, I'm wondering as well, I'm sitting down probably at the worst time to record this, there's probably everyone's kind of Pokemon out or at Pokemon events, so there's going to be, oh, we've got Ham, Ham the man from the United States, so we'll get straight into team preview. He was a little worried that the ladder would be quiet today, but Ham comes through for us and is our first opponent playing a team of Whimsicott, Kyogre, Nihiligo. Rayquaza, Tapu Koko, and Incineroar. So, this isn't all bad, is it? Um, Scoff Kyogre just appeals to me so much in this matchup because we can catch so many things off <laughs> with Scoff Kyogre. Um, I really do want to lead it. And I do want to bring Sableye as well, just for the, the fake out support, the quash support as well. Uh, Sableye, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, like Sableye doesn't do a bad job here. Uh, we'll go Sableye, we'll go Kyogre as a lead. Do I want to bring Lanoon? Lanoon, the other option is Lanoon with Sableye, which could be really good. Keep Kyogre in the back. And what can my opponent do, really? I could, uh, we trade fake outs, do that. Yeah, so Lanoon's maybe not the best. Mega Mewtwo Y, I definitely want to bring because it just outspeeds everything, can damage everything really good. Uh, I've got to worry about um, potential Tailwind from the Whimsicott as well. That's something else we need to worry about. Maybe Charabug is a good Pokemon to bring here because of the Tapu Koko. Um, I really would love to know what Ham is thinking now looking at this team. <laughs> I really would. Anyway, we'll lock in, we'll get into it today and kick off in our first match. I'm the man. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Let's get off to a good start today. This is what it's all about. This roulette series. I'm, I'm kind of sad that it's gone away, you know. I'm like, well, we'll be getting the rules hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the day. It'll be yesterday for you guys. Um, I'm really hoping it's not Ultra for, for until January the 4th. Please don't let it be Ultra. I really want something new. Uh, it, will, it will depict my... Um, me venturing out to events because I think if it's ultra I probably won't attend events until um, until January the 4th when we know the rules for Sword and Shield will be implemented so that's um, it's a little bit sad but I just don't really want to play any more ultra to be honest that's just my opinion anyway so we'll see what happens anyway hopefully we'll, we get lucky and you're sitting there now thinking oh, yes it's, it's a brand new rule set so we see Incineroar Tapu Koko come out for my opponent uh, Sableye, we went super fast, so we should be able to outspeed this in Cinero. The only worry here would be the Tapu Koko being sashed, but let's just go for a, a tasty old water spout, and it should clear the field. Freak out from Sableye. In Cinero. Water spout. <laughs> Can we do it? Yes. <laughs> no sash Goko, <laughs> my Ham the man is like, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> what is this? I didn't realize it was scarfed, doing exactly what we did. Okay, so that's a good start for us. We're still sitting pretty now with a scarf Kyogre and a uh, little old Sableye here on the field. Uh, what's my opponent got in the back? That's like the cleanest turn one for us that we've ever had, I feel. Um, okay, so it's the, the, the dual restricted. Um, we're going to see the airlock up here, and then we're going to see Primal Kyogre. Um, now, do I switch Kyogre out to bring it back in later um, to do some stuff, I guess? Because if I'll play into the Rayquaza or do nice damage, we could potentially switch... Um, how do I just stay in a water spout? I could just stay in a water spout. I just feel like we'd probably get extreme speeded. That's the only thing. Um... I'm going to go for foul play into the ray, and I'm going to go for, do we switch into Charabug? I feel like it's probably a good idea to switch into Charabug. I want to get Kyogre back in if I can, because then we can lock into Thunder to tackle the Primal Kyogre, or we can lock into Ice Beam to deal with the Rayquaza, whichever one is left, I guess. So, we'll switch in the bus, here you come, here's uh, Mega Ray, going to activate that. 
the Delta Stream. We'll see what my opponent goes for. But I'd imagine, knowing the Scarf Kyogre, probably either Dragon Ascent or Extreme Speed. Yeah, Dragon Ascent. Where are you going? Please don't be into the Sableye. Okay, into our Charbug. A little bit of a shame, but it's fine. It's all good. Wow, Charbug, you take that like a monster truck. You're not a bus. You're a monster truck. Water Spout coming out. Sableye Sash, so this should be fine. Charbug. Oh, <laughs> what? Charbug hangs on. Charbug is legit. The bus is so good. And that foul play, man, that does some nice damage. Okay. Um, right. Could we quash? Well, it doesn't matter because, I mean, whatever we do. I mean, we could guess and quash the Kyogre and then go for a... Um, we could go for a spark into Kyogre and try and paralyze it, I guess. And hope that the ray goes for... Uh, okay. Yeah, alright, well, that was a waste of time. But it's fine, it's, it's literally fine. Because, yeah, I mean, that was the mo that's the most pointless play in all of Pokemon history. <laughs> Let's quash you. Quash you down, I see. We couldn't have done anything there anyway, really. We would have needed the Ray to extreme speed the save light, and even then, we would have went down to a, a war spout, so it's, it's fine. We'll bring in Mewtwo and Kyogre. Um so this is this is fine because what we can do now is just attack uh, the rear with our Mewtwo and go for that thunder into the Kyogre. The drizzle doesn't activate. Damn it. We need our thunders to hit though. That's the big thing. Um, so it's a little bit risky. A little bit risky. We'll go for the side strike into the rear um, and we'll go for a thunder into Kyogre. I mean, if it lands, we're in electric terrain as well, so it should do some nice damage. And I don't know if my opponent's going to have um, oh, have Thunder, to be honest. They might do. They may not, though, because they've got the Tapu Koko. Ah, okay, let's see. Come on, let's do this. Did we Mega? Yeah, we did Mega Evolve. I was like, did we Mega Evolve? Did I forget to Mega Evolve? That would have been the worst. Okay, so... Mega Mewtwo Y, we'll probably see an extreme speed, yeah, into Kyogre, ooh, into Mewtwo, I way prefer that, no, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we're going to lose Mewtwo, because a water spout is incoming, I reckon, oh, uh, god damn it, we need the rain up really, don't we, for these thunders, uh, the winds disappear, I guess, there's a water spout, this is not so hot for us tonight, right now, yeah, I mean, our Kyogre takes that pretty nicely, right, so we just need to hit a few thunders. If they haven't got thunder themselves, they're pretty screwed. They're probably going to protect to stall out this electric terrain, I would imagine, because I think the next turn it disappears. I'm pretty sure. We've got to hit these. We've got to hit the thunders. Two thunders should be enough. Yeah. Right, we just need some thunders. Come on. Come on. Electric train has disappeared, so the odds aren't in our favour, but it's still going to be all right. It's still going to be fine. Come on, Kyogre, you don't need to be primal to to win in this format. Let's show Ham. Come on, this is not going well. <laughs> we need Thunder to hit. Come on, come on, Kyogre. Hit this thunder, please. We just need two. Two is all you need to do. There's one. Boosh. Come on, let's do this. Oh. Oh, we get the paralysis. Come on, fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. No! Oh, damn it. Okay, I think we might actually lose this, you know. He's definitely got origin pulse. We need some fully paralysis. Paralysis. You need some fully paralyzed Kyogre going on here. And we need to hit. I like if our thunders had hit. We we'd win this. But I mean, come on. Come on. Come on, Kyogre, do this. <sighs> come on. Fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. Come on. Think it with me. Come on. We hit again. Okay, we need one more after this. One more. Fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. No! No! Oh, we're gonna, I think we're going to go down to an Origin Pulse from this range. 
I don't know what to say to that. Three thunders missing. Was it three? I'm pretty sure it was three. Good game, Ham. I feel like it was stolen away from us. But, I mean, I'm not too sad. Well, I am sad. I'm sad because Kyogre let us down there. We may have been better off just going water spout and just spamming that, to be honest. But then again, with how especially bulky that Primal Kyogre is, I don't think we would have won out. Like, Thunder definitely didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, so 15, 33 rating. We're not off to the best of starts today. Let's get the, the, the marking down. One loss, zero wins. But we can all turn this around. We can turn this around in the next one. So, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find the next opponent. Um, we're going with Team Rainbow Rocket as our tune. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it now and just come straight back when we find our next opponent because we could be sitting here a while. So I'll see you in a jiffy. And we've got our next opponent of the episode, 1522 rated player from Japan. So we'll get straight into team preview. And our next opponent is running a team of Landorus, the Rainform, Rayquaza, Karobat, the Kartana, Xerneas and Smeagol. Oh, Xerneas and Smeagol. Excellent. Great, just what we want. I'm going to bring Sableye because we've got Taunt so we can shut down things like Crobat, things like Xerneas, things like Smeagol. Um, do we go with a, a good old Kyogre once again? Um, it might be an idea for sure. Uh, just to catch my opponent off guard, really. And we can do some nice damage to like most things. Um, yeah, we'll go with the, the, the Kyogre once again. Um, hmm. <sighs> Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. Do we bring Mewtwo? Hmm. And Landorus might be better this time, just because of the, the physical threats. There's like three physical threats in Landorus, Rayquaza, and Cartana. And then we can bring Fissure as well. And then we got a Z move. I think we'll go with the Landorus here. Leave Charbug at home on the bench. <laughs> Although Charbug could be decent as well. Just worry about the sleep. Uh, 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 now nah, we'll go with it. So here we go. We'll bring Landorus. See if that changes up anything, um, and we'll see if Scoff Kyogre can do some more, some more work. In a way, I'm like, it's great seeing Rayquaza because you think, well, Ray's here. That that's good for Scoff Kyogre for sure, because we haven't actually got Ray, which you kind of want to run with Scoff Kyogre anyway. Um, okay, we're gonna see. Smeagol and Cartana. Cartana. Um, I hope the Smeagol hasn't got wide guard. <laughs> and have they noticed that we're scoffed and haven't primal reverted? Have they? Uh, we'll go fake out into the Smeagol. Uh, oh, should we? Should we go taunt into the Smeagol? Uh, oh, we go fake out into the Cartana because I think. You're, if you're going to fake out with Smeagol, you're going to go for the Kyogre. Because you can't fake out Sableye, so we need to trade fake outs. We'll go for the Water Spout and see if we can get it off. No, my god! Nah, it's no good, but I mean, yeah. Okay. It's not the worst. It's not the worst, because um, it really isn't. We keep Kyogre for later. We get around the Cartana going for that. I mean, we could have we could have went for um, Fake Out into the Smeagol there, but Smeagol's speed falls. Um, and we could taunt the Smeagol just to stop it putting anything to sleep and switch in. Uh, Landorus isn't exactly the best switch in here. I feel like the Smeagol has to go wide guard again. That's the, that's the big thing. Um, so we could potentially go for a foul play into the Cartana just to get some damage off onto it and then taunt the Smeagol the next turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that foul play and I'm going to hmm, I'm gonna bring in Landorus because I, I want to preserve our restricteds. I don't want me to switching in on Leaf Blade, get crit and then things just go from bad to worse from there. So we'll bring me to in. We might see the Cartana go for the like, uh, Tailwind, Z, Tailwind could set the team up, I guess. Oh, it's going to follow me. Okay. That's fine. We, we'll probably be better going for the, the taunt there then. 
Um, definitely. Uh, but we, I mean, we break a sash on the Smeagol, so that's that's fine, isn't it? Um, Moody boost, attack, and evasiveness fell. Okay. Uh, okay. I like. We'll go for a taunt into Smeagol, and we'll just protect. Just protect that. This could give my opponent a little bit of an opening, I think, by protecting Landorus. The Cotton is probably in a position. I don't think it's going to pick up the knockout, but we're, we're definitely <clears throat> susceptible to a Crit Leaf Blade at this point. Like, it would knock Landorus out, and that wouldn't put us in a great spot. Um, okay, we're going to see Cotton switch out, Ray come in, which is fine. Um... As long as we shut down this Smeagol, that's the big thing, I think, for us here. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> I do have gravity on a Landorus, so we could gravity with Landorus in this next turn. And go for a foul play into the Ray. Or do we just go for the fissure into the Smeagol? Because I think Smeagol switches out now. The Ray might attack into Landorus. But if it does, it means we do get either Kyogre or Mewtwo back onto the field. So that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to fissure into the Smeagol. I know we got the Z move, but for the style points alone, I want to fissure. And if we can get the Cartana with a one-hit kill makes today's episode that much better. Uh, we're going to see the Ray go for its Mega Evolution. Activate that Delta Stream. Why is it attacking the Landorus more than likely, I would imagine? But if you leave Landorus alone, we've got the opportunity to punish. And if it doesn't, then Sableye's sitting in. Yeah, Sableye's sitting in a really nice position. You know, they're just leaving it alone as well. That's the thing. So uh, we will lose Landorus, unfortunately. Uh, the one thing that we've got going for us right now is that uh, Kyogre can come onto the field. Even Mewtwo could really, this next turn, I think Mewtwo might be the better option, to be honest. Wow, we take down the Ray. The far play. <laughs> we got the rhymes. Um, yeah, we'll go for Mewtwo. I think it's probably the better option because the, the, the Cartana Sash, potential Sash that it's got is broken. So we can, we can definitely get it with an Aurora Sphere from this range. The Smeagol obviously has got access to fake out, but it can't fake out our Sableye, it can fake out our Mewtwo. Um, Sableye has proven to be an immense support Pokemon here. We'll go for the Taunt again into the Smeagol. I'm going to Mega Evolve and I'm just going to Protect here. It does give, again, the Cartana the opportunity to go for uh, a Tailwind if it's got access to it, but at the same time, if we don't Protect, the Smeagol could just fake out into Mewtwo and then the Cartana gets the, the Tailwind up anyway. And I don't really want to leave Mewtwo vulnerable this turn, so there's no point getting, letting the Smeagol fake us out and then attack coming in on us. It just weakens our Mewtwo, which we don't really want to do. It's not the, the strongest defensively, so if we can just protect it and keep it safe, it makes us a, a lot better. And we've got Quash going into this next turn anyway. There's the fake out from the Smeagol into Mewtwo. We'll get this tasty taunt into the Smeagol, shut that down, stop it doing any supporting, and there's a Leaf Blade uh, into the the, uh, the Sableye here, so that's fine, I mean see some Moody Boosts I think the thing that probably would make a lot of sense this next turn for my opponent is the Smeagol switching out into um, I mean, what would come in on that slot it's probably the Xerneas, right? So a Psy Strike there would be better, but because you switch into Xerneas there, you probably, hmm, I'm actually not. I'm going to just foul play into the Smeagol, and I'm going to go for the Aurora Sphere into the Cartana. I don't want to mess around. I just want to get rid of this Cartana. If it sticks around, if the Xerneas comes in, that's fine. Um, we've still got the Taunt to shut down. Oh, it's gone for the fake out again. Yeah, nothing. Oh, it's scarfed Cartana. Oh, that does so much damage. Man. Wow. Okay, well, we get rid of the Cartana. 
<sighs> we'll get some more damage into this Smeagol. Foul player, don't expect it to pick up the knockout, but uh, getting close, obviously. Uh, there's the Moody, evasiveness. Rose, no! Uh, and speed dropped, so. Xerneas will be the last one, I would imagine, to come in. Uh, we can taunt it um, and side strike it. I probably want to get rid of this Smeagol, I think, this next turn, though, so I don't really care if. I lose both Pokemon here because then we've got Kyogre to come in, it's going to be Scarfed and it should be able to beat the Xerneas one on one. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna go for that side Strike into the Smeagol just to get rid of it because if it's Taunt wears off then it can start supporting the Xerneas which we don't want it to be able to do. Uh, I do want to be able to get a Taunt down onto the Xerneas. You might see the Xerneas protect this turn which I would kind of prefer if it does because uh, my opponent might try and think. Well, Smeagol, if it gets through this turn, um, then we can follow me, Geomancy, the next turn. Uh, but we're not going to see that. Uh, we'll get the Torn off onto the, onto the Xerneas. And probably see a Dazzling Gleam um, come out here. We'll get the Side Strike into the, the Smeagol. Um, there's a part of me that thinks it might have been better to go for the Xerneas just to get damage onto it there. Oh, it does go for the Geomancy. Wow. Okay, so Mewtwo gets an extra turn. This guarantees it, really, for us to, to lock up with our with our Kyogre. Um, so we'll go for the Foul Play, and we'll go for a Psy Strike. This should do some nice damage. And then Kyogre can come in and just go, What a spout! And we'll tie up this game, hopefully. Um, yeah, we should be able to. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a water spout range. There's the Dazzle. Put Pokemon going down. And in comes a Kyogre. Not Primal, Scarf. It's a good shout, the Scarf Kyogre. It's a, it's a fun Pokemon to play, especially in this format where <clears throat> a lot of um, a lot of players just don't pay as much attention as they maybe should at times to Kyogre when it comes in. Because you always just see a Primal of it, so you just kind of ignore it after a while. Which is definitely something that I do. We we'll click in with that water spout. It's going to be scarfed. It's going to be enough. Single target to take down the Xerneas. It should be, unless the Xerneas is like uberly bulky. But I feel pretty confident here. Water spout. Bing bong. Yes. Come on, Kyogre. So we actually tie up. Finish the day one and one. We've had some great battles today. I mean, that first one, we definitely could have won against Ham if Thunder had hit like one more time. But <clears throat> it's just how it goes, isn't it? We didn't have the rain up, and that's a drawback. But I feel I feel pretty positive about how the team's been performing so far. So credit to all of you guys for those nominations this week. And uh, I feel good that we're going to finish the week in a decent position. You know, we're 1-1 at the minute. We've set the bar. We can't lose again, obviously, if we want to beat the bar from last week, which I don't know if it's going to be possible to do. We haven't really got and made much use of Lanoon today. Um... All under us theory in, really. Uh, so it'll be nice to kind of incorporate those in our next episode, which we'll be back with tomorrow. So have a great day, whatever you're up to for the rest of the, the afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time of day it is, like I say, where you are. Just enjoy what you're doing. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all for the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until then, I'll see you then. So bye-bye.